Described as Connecticut's largest coastal wildlife management area, Barn Island spans just over a thousand acres. Composed primarily of tidal marshes and deciduous forest, the marshes here began forming over 3,000 years ago. However, it is through the efforts of human intervention that this place has been preserved, allowing it to remain a haven for a diverse range of wildlife. Along the muddy embankments of the marsh lives one of Barn Island's smallest, yet most charismatic crustaceans, the Atlantic Marsh Fiddler Crab. Their cavernous burrows serve as not only a refuge from danger, but also provide aeration to the surrounding marsh. At low tide, they emerge from their burrows to feed on anything from algae and fungus to decaying plant and animal matter within the mud. It's summer now, which, for a fiddler crab, means it's time to find a mate. The male fiddler crab waves its large claw through the air in an attempt to attract a female. For a male, a larger claw increases the chances that he will get noticed. Perhaps size does matter after all, if only in the world of fiddler crabs. The male attempts to lead the female back to his burrow by approaching and then quickly retreating. However, she does not seem interested, and as she moves away, his waving becomes more reminiscent of a goodbye than a courting strategy. In a cluster of trees overlooking the grassy expanse of the marsh sits an uncommon visitor to Barn Island, a juvenile peregrine falcon. During the mid-20th century, peregrine falcons were critically endangered due to the use of pesticides such as DDT. Despite a recovery in their population since then, they still remain a rare sight in some areas of the country. As it looks out across the marsh, it spies another bird who once faced similar challenges. The Osprey. Like the peregrine falcon, osprey populations once fell to dangerously low numbers within North America due to pesticides. Feeding almost exclusively on fish, ospreys are found within close proximity to both fresh and salt water throughout the world. With the help of excellent eyesight and glare-reducing bands that surround their eyes, the osprey briefly hovers in place while zeroing in on a fish below. When the time is right, it rapidly descends through the air and into the water. Successful, it heads back to the nest with a firm grasp on its prey. As summer nears its final days, autumn's presence begins to emerge. Not long from now, the oncoming cold will send the marsh into a deep slumber, and many of its inhabitants will disappear for the winter. Those that remain will do what they must in order to survive. The long days and warm light of the season will fade into the distance. But for now, life here remains in its plentiful state of being. <laughs>